to you live from Southern California. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. And towing the slab in this one, Reed Detmers. How about a scouting report on him? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick. And by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Ready to go now. And now, Brian Jeffers. Why to kick the pitch? Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, it's so tough to let a slow curveball like that one just travel all the way into the contact zone. You see it out of the hand, and you're telling yourself, off speed, stay back. But you just get too excited. You think you're going to hammer it, and you still end up way out in front. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. This one in the air center field. Hicks is there for it. Two away. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. Two outs, space is empty. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Next offering way off the plate. And a foul ball. Slow roller to third, Rangifo. Rolls across the diamond, and that will end the inning. Down go the Twins in order. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. Welcome back. And towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first and inning and the second inning, the I think we'll see him hand the ball That's over to his closer. closer. Ready to go oh. for the last half of the inning. Here's oh. Mike Trout. That's Next offering two. misses, and yeah, that's ball two. That one ripped. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Now there's one away. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. So in now for the Angels, number nine. And here it comes. Bounced up the middle, and that one handled. Not in time. He's safe. Tough play at a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out, but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Here's a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next one misses, now two and two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Got him swinging. Brandon Drury to the plate. Swings and misses. Gonna count one and two. up foul territory behind the play and that'll do it angels strand one we played an inning 
They'll score. Back in Anaheim, new Get inning getting started. And now Jose Miranda. Jose Miranda. 1-1 one, one now. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. That clips a corner. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He'll circle the bases. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And there's a foul ball. Two-two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. This is Willie Castro. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. And that's in for a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Here's Christian Vasquez. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. Kicks and fires. To the right side. Throws to first. And that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. Back. And welcome back. Now and here's Aaron the Hicks. For the Angels, the Aaron Hicks. And it's even up. The wind of the pitch. Three. He goes down looking. Logan Ohapi digs in now. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. Fair ball. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And there's two away. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Third baseman. Luis off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. Bohapi off of first with two away. 2-1 pitch is in there and the count is even. Ball. 
And that Can't skips lose. into dirt. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. So now two on and two outs. Not nah, what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So two on with two away. Number 18 getting ready to hit. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So the lineup flips over. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. They leave him loaded. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Twins one and the Angels nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, all set for the start of the inning. The Kyle base Farmer base. up to the plate uh, now. Farm. And the pitch. Popped foul out of play off to the right. The 2-2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Smoked to the left. Base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And that one finds its way through. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and... There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. No outs. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone and a really good job of the pitcher executing try to go there as often as you can the numbers are in your favor strike two at the dish looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot anything but the inning inning double play boo line drive base hit coming home one runs in. A second scores as well. It's three zip. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. Here's Manuel Margot. Grounded out his first time up. At the belt and fires. Got the bat going One too ball. soon. It's strike two. two. One, two to Margot. Ball. Well, he's two so ball. great about two hitting strike. the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. In the air, out towards left center. Whoa. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Stepping in, Jose Miranda. Runner at second, two down.
Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. One and two here. And that's a base hit. Here comes Buxton flying around third. In there safely. And they lead by four. Well done. Drives in the run. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So up next, Carlos Santana. And the 2-2. Stays alive. And now the lefty. Ward sizing it up. And that is the third out of the inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left off. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Twins four and the Angels nothing. Bottom of the inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, number nine. That's your stop. And it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Good eye right there. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's oh, now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. The 1 1. And a good eye there. 2 1. Misses nope. off the play. Okay. And now three balls and a strike. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Margot in pursuit. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Angels go quietly there. They trail it here, 4 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, there's the shortstop at the play. Willie Castro. Willie Castro. The 1-1. One -one. They say it went. Well, these twins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already. Nope. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. The pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. This one in the air right field. Adele puts the squeeze on that one. One down. Now batting. Man at first. Now it's Kyle. the second baseman, Kyle Farmer. 
One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Here comes a pitch. Now one missed. Bullpen activity starting up now. Adam Simber up and loosening in the pen. The count two and one. That one missing inside. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now that left fielder. Now the left fielder, Austin Martin, singled and scored his first time. The pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Castro headed for the plate. One run across. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Adam Simber gets the ball now. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Simber is ready. Outside. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And now two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a pop-up. Drury hauls it in for the out. Two down. Oh, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy will have to pick him up. Here's Byron Buxton. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's a strike. Farmer at third. Martin on at second with two down. Buxton started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. He did not go around. Two on, two outs. And down on strikes he goes. Good job at damage control right there. One run in the inning, but they leave two. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Twins five and the Angels nothing. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Aaron Hicks. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's the catcher to hit, Logan Ohoppy. Ohoppy. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. That is strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Joe Adele. He's 0 for 1. The pitch. Gets under and pops it up. Farmer sizes this one up. And that is that. Angels go down one, two, three. Still looking at that five, nothing deficit. Back in Anaheim, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. 
And leading it off, Manuel Margot. Right-hander kicks, deals. He swings and fouls one off. Well, these twins really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. And there's ball four. Right, ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Nobody out. Runner at first. The 1-1 is fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Double play ball to second. They get one. And it's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. One, two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And welcome back. We and head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's going to be Luis Rangifo. Here's a one to one. Upstairs. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Three, two now. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Kicks and deals. The punch out there picks up strikeout number seven. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Number 18, the next to hit for the Angels. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. And a ball evens the count. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Here's Trout. The 1-1. That's a strike. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And the righty deals. Bounce to the left side. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. 
And the Angels are gone in order. It's 5 0. Top six. And now for the Twins, Willie Castro. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Two balls, one strike. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. Kicks and fires. High fly ball out at a left center field. Ward pulls it in on the run. Now back, second base. Kyle. Two outs, base is empty. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. The pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. And here it comes. Farmer checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. And that one hammered back there. And out of here. He sends a rocket to left, and they tack one on the board. It's 6 nothing. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, Manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Austin Martin. The next twin up to hit. Now on the. Bump Jose Suarez. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 6-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the sixth inning. And so in now for the Angels, Angels, number nine. Not shortstop. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Got him swinging. And now, now Brandon Drury. Brandon. Well, just about to hit that Drury. century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Movement in the bullpen, number 55. Warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Grounder might be two. Over to Castro for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. It's the twin six and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now it's the DH, Ryan Jeffers. The designated hitter, Ryan. The why to kick the pitch. That's hard hit on the line. And there's one down. Now that the center fielder, 
Byron Buxton, the next twin up to hit. The 2 2 on the way. And there's a ball. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Manuel Margot, the next twin up to hit. Next pitch is outside. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fights it off, you'll see another. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Line drive, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now uh, just a total Perfect. nightmare for lefties. Okay. I'd be very surprised Miranda. to see that matchup again. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. On the ground, two ball. Goes to second for one. Back to first, double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Twins six, and the Angels nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, Aaron Hicks at the plate. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on oh, going to the right. opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner at first with no outs here. That one catches the zone. And now two and two. But when a leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Next three offering two. misses. Three and two down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty good pitch on three two right around the knees, but just no help from the umpire. On the mound now for the Twins, please. number 55. And you know, bullpen guys can number struggle 55. sometimes when they're called upon Cody. with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness. Oh, gets dirty. Miranda tossed the second to first, not in time. Great effort there. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Next pitch inside, inside, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Misses outside, three and one now. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter's side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Two on, one out. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout now pitch right it. there. Just a low Number 90s fastball, 18. and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Now 
And a swing to miss. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way. So the hitter. The swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. We go to the eighth, and now for the Twins, Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. And that's the strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Fly ball, center field. Hicks makes the grab on the run. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Vasquez. Next offering is downstairs. And downstairs. The 3-1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three, two. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Twins retired in short order. They lead it though, six zip. Welcome back. Digging and in, Mike the Trout. The, Angels, the designated hitter, Mike Trout. The 3 1. And a base hit into right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. He got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And now it's going to be number nine. The next offering misses, and it's two and one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And it's fouled away. Runner leads away at second. On the ground. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting, left fielder. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. And a 1 1. Swing and a ball lifted, left field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two.
Got it by him for the K. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back in Anaheim, all Maybe set to start. Throw. The second baseman, Kyle Farmer. The ninth in this one, and now for the twins. This Kyle Farmer, new pitcher in the game for the Angels, Carson Fulmer. I think he's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Action in the pen down there. Jose Cisnero getting loose out there. Adele going after it. And there's one away. So up next for Minnesota, Austin Martin. Austin Martin. Chopped left side. Fires to first on the run. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Ryan Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. And now the count is even. Struck him out looking. So they go quietly there. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the twin six and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And the bottom of the ninth. So in now for the Angels. Aaron Hicks now coming out of the bullpen for the Twins Griffin Jacks he has a great slider with tons of movement this has always been the better side for Aaron Hicks here's a one two chopped out in front of the plate now the throw to first on the run and Hicks is out here's the Angels catcher Logan Ohapi and a one two Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up now the effort from their right starter. Here. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been and a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious twins six runs eight hits no errors they left five men on base for the angels no runs five hits no errors they left eight men on base time of the ball game two hours and 45 minutes thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please Drive home safely.